I'm so sorry guys um my phone got cut off I don't know what happened and I don't even know how to mush these videos together so this is gonna be a two-part video um but I'm not really too um far off from finishing this part of the video I'm very sorry about that I don't know what happened actually I know what happened I went to go um swipe up a message that came up across my screen and I hit the button wrong and it just shut off so I'm just gonna really quickly um, give you some tips and ideas on what you can do so the first thing which what I was trying to say was do not um, pay $30 to park your car near the areas of attraction um, go to the um, train station and park your car there you are only gonna pay two dollars you have to download the app um, which is called pay by phone and it's really easy affordable you're not gonna spend a lot of money you're gonna save yourself $28 now if you want to be in the area and you want to spend $30 then park in the attraction area but if you want to save money just park in the train station it's not too far literally it's like five minutes away from the attraction area it's not even that far you just you just park your car drive across the very first thing you're going to come across is the heritage trail which is that like red line that i talked about earlier and follow that line and you will be in the attraction area you'll be fine it's not even a big deal the second advice that i would definitely highly highly suggest is wear comfortable shoes you're going to be doing a lot of walking you're going to be doing a lot of back and forth you need to wear comfortable shoes i i i told my husband papi you have to wear comfortable shoes because i don't know you know anywhere that I, i'm not sure how far we're going to walk see i knew that the shops and the attractions were not too far from each other but i also knew that we were going to do a lot of walking so i told him and then the castle also you have to do a lot of walking you have to it's like a tour you have to walk around so i told him wear comfortable shoes and i wear comfortable shoes i even wore i even brought with me extra comfortable shoes just in case the ones that i had on wasn't you know enough so Definitely by far wear comfortable shoes. You're gonna be doing a lot of walking. So um, I wore these flat um, Shoes that were comfortable, but I could have probably wear something much more comfortable. I should have Changed to my sneakers, but that's okay. Um, it wasn't that bad That's uh, definitely a must um, another uh, Another I would say would probably be the most important thing about this trip in my opinion right because we all have opinions in my opinion the most important thing about this trip is to do a trolley tour I think that is the very first thing you should do when you hit this town because again it will give you a lot of insights and a lot of information about these touristy like these attraction areas like the wish house i mean he talked about everything he talked about the wish house the old town hall he points out to you um willow park he points out to you where the witch trial memorial was he points out to you um rope mansion um the barrier he points out to you everything and then this is just in salmon oh no no solemn solemn there's other um parts of massachusetts which is in the other side where he also takes you which is the marina side and um i definitely highly suggest to do that um places to eat <laughs> That was an experience. I found a few places that I wanted to eat because I was dying to try a lobster roll. That was like one of the things that I was like, I need to try a lobster roll. Like I want to, right? So the first place that I went to try um, to get in to get into the restaurant, it was fully packed. I think it's called Lobster Shank Shanky. I think it's called fully packed. Fully packed. I heard they had the best um, lobster dishes there could not get into it it was just it was just the way was too long um then we remembered a soup like a soupy kind of like um shop that we came across while we were walking to 
um, the attraction area and we were like well maybe we can go there my husband wanted like a Caesar salad and like some um, other stuff and I just wanted anything to do with lobster and they and in the menu it had like this lobster stew or something so I was like okay we could do that so that was the second place that we tried to go and that place was closed so we were like okay it was open when we went but when we went back it was closed so I was like okay so my husband was like all right you know what let's just have pizza <laughs> so we just like okay fine whatever we just have pizza so we went to this really awesome pizza place called um engine oh, yeah, 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 yeah. where is the mm. it's called engine pizzeria it's right across the um the fire play a uh, fire fire department um station and um, the place is called Engine Pizzeria. Again, I'll link everything at the bottom. Um, they had the best pizza. It was awesome. It was a great, great little pizzeria. Um, I didn't have my lobster roll, but I had pizza. Then we had some chicken wings and we had some mozzarella. And it was absolutely awesome. It was great. And it was not packed. It was not like full of people inside. The place inside was awesome. They had like these um, um, like fire fighter gears on the walls and like they had this like gigantic firefighter um like gear where they the gear that they use when they go into to into like the fire you know to um to to uh turn down the fire i forgot what that's called like the big you know gear like the big thing they have to wear I can't even figure it out what to say I think you guys know what I mean I guess they go doing an honor of someone that may have maybe passed away on in their um, yeah they passed away uh, I don't know who it was I really didn't look into see the name of the person but I am assuming they were just doing an honor for the person who had passed away in the line of duty and um, they had his gear like hung up in the wall with um other things around it it was just a really really nice um environment i really felt so comfortable and felt like a really good vibe in this pizzeria place and i loved it i loved it um we did that and then um another thing that i would highly suggest you guys to do is shop early <laughs> shop early um again i had a list of places that i wanted to hit which i am so excited that i was able to hit but shop early because here goes the downfall of Massachusetts, right? The number one downfall is the shops close super early there. Like, I don't understand. This is a tourist place. You have people coming all over the world to visit and see these historical areas. And the shops are like closed like by five o'clock. I don't get that. I don't get that. Um, I tried to hit a few bookstores and they were closed. I was like, okay. I went to three bookstores that I had in my list. All three of them were closed. One of them had just finished closing. I just missed it by like five minutes. And then the other two were just closed already. Um, that's one thing that I really feel is a downfall when you go to visit. Um, it, you need to kind of plan your shopping accordingly because if you don't have any kind of plans on shopping and just going shopping crazy, you will definitely not visit all the stores that you want to unless you're shopping unless you pick one day to just to shop then you're good if you leave at, five, at 10 o'clock at night um 10 o'clock in the morning and you're shopping all day then that's perfect but if you're one of those people that want to do a lot of different things in one day like we did and try to like squeeze in the shopping do it the first thing in the morning right after the trolley because um they close really eat, uh, early it's just i don't know why i really don't make that makes no sense to me but they do so that was a downfall um, of, of um, if I had to pick one, which I really didn't have much, but if I had to pick one, would be the shopping, the shops close way too early and the food shops are way too packed. So the wait is very, 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 very um, long. If you have patience and you have time, it shouldn't be a problem. But if you don't have patience and you don't have time, that would be a problem, okay? Um, that's really the two downfall of going there. Other than that, I had a blast. I had a blast. We 
didn't feel the need to visit um, any attractions because like I said with this trolley tour he went over everything um, so we really didn't feel the need to like explore more than what we already had info on and we thought was really cool and we saw the, the, the attractions um, you know other than that we didn't feel the need to but if you're there and you guys are you know into visiting different um, attractions and you might want to uh, look into you know visiting like the witch house or the dungeon or um, the memorial the park but he again he went over everything we went to the willow park we went to the memorial site we, he went over everything so it was just an awesome awesome you know tour they also say that the night tour the bewitched night tour is absolutely fabulous and so we weren't there um that long but i think if we would have we probably would have done that um but yeah other than that i think it's an awesome place to go to it's not so creepy everybody's like oh my god it's a creepy place and like it's you know it's uh, it's haunted yeah it's creepy i mean it's based on a very tragic situation and um i think that it's more um I think it's more historical right I think if you look behind everything and look past the witchy part of it it's very historical you will learn a lot so yes baby I'm good I'm just doing a video that's okay my love don't worry so um it's a very historical place um if you are into like witchy stuff you will love it if you're not into witchy stuff um, and you're there to just get the insides of the did you just see that go right by I think that was a okay I don't know what that was <laughs> that wasn't a little dust because I don't have dust here that's weird okay whatever um if you're into if you're not if you're if you're not into the witchy stuff and you just want to like do the historical part of it i think it's awesome i think it's awesome you know don't go to the witchy stuff <laughs> stores um just just do the historical part and just get the, some insights it's really really um educational educational and fun so it's fun yeah all right so that's all i did there um i oh by the way another thing these messages another thing i wanted to visit with my husband the halloween museum and it was closed <laughs> you know i we went early because i didn't want to get the tickets online but i wanted to get a ticket without while i was there so as soon as we um got off the trailie the tra trolley tour and right before i went shopping i stopped by there to get the tickets and that there was a sign that said um i'm sorry we're closed we'll be back in 15 minutes i was like okay fine we went shopping around we looked around and i came back to see if they were open and they were still closed so i was not able if any attraction that i really was interested in to do would have would have been the museum the halloween museum but that again was closed um i also went to an ice cream parlor called melt which is very popular there and and actually the, the the ice cream parlor is on your way from the train station so if you are coming from the train station to go into the town you will come across melt and i was like okay i'm gonna hit you when i come back because i i didn't want to eat ice cream you know um on my way over there because i knew we had to do a lot of things but i did want to have it so i did have it on my way back home on my way back to the car and I had the salted caramel brownie and it was delicious. It was amazing. It was the best ice cream I ever had. So it is true that they say that they have the best homemade ice cream. It is so true. It is delicious. Um, and yeah, and that's really what I did. I really had so much fun. So do I recommend for you guys to go? Absolutely. Um, do I recommend for you to go to the castle? absolutely absolutely please if you like castles and you love that medieval kind of look and gothic kind of like beautiful um like just artwork and just um just decorations definitely do the castle tour because you will love it 
Um, all right, my loves. Thank you all so much for watching this channel. Um, I'm going to do a haul video next showing you guys what I got while I was there. I'm super excited to show you. And yeah, I love you all and have a fantastic weekend. Bye.